hey guys in this video we are going to learn how do you loop through arrays how do you define an array how do you modify the value how do you access any value of an array and how do you finally loop through an array all these topics we are going to cover in this video so let's move on to our screen and let's get started all right so first of all let's define an array okay how to define an array let's see that so i will keep the color of uh, my this one a and then how do you define an array it's you again using the set command okay set command we have seen multiple times so set and i'm going to say a and then i'll start a square bracket and i'll write the index number so re remember in many of the programming languages you have seen that the index number will always start from the zero value okay so remember this zero uh, equals to and then i'm going to define something let's say the first let's say this is the array so you can give any name instead of a you can probably you can write fruits okay or whatever you like but just to keep it simple i'll simply define a okay so first is a now i'm going to copy this i'm going to let's say paste some two times and i'm going to change the value so a would remain the same just the value inside that will change 0 1 2 okay and here the values we will change apple let's say orange orange and then we can probably say grapes okay so three fruits we have kept so this this is a array now how do you access an array how do you access an array simple write echo and how do you access a variable by writing the percentage symbol the same thing applies over here you will write a and then provide the number which thing you would like to access let's say i would like to access zero so I'll put like this and then end with a percentage okay likewise anything you would like to access you can do the same way let's say I would like to access let's say the two okay so apple and orange should be the output and let let us pause and see the output first okay got it pretty simple syntax now let's run this and you can see the output apple and grapes okay likewise if you need how many number of values you can keep defining whatever you need from the uh, array okay so this is how we have defined the array this is how we are accessing an array and these numbers can be modified all right now <clears throat> let's say the second value is orange second value is orange i would like to modify it to something else so how to do that how do you modify that same again you write set then you will say a and then square bracket which value I, you would like to modify let's say the value number one i would like to mo modify from orange to mango let's say so here i'm going to say equals to mango pretty simple and if i print this i will say echo and then i will say percentage symbol a and then square bracket let's say i would like to access the one just to see if the value has changed or not okay so we can define this on top of it so that we can see the old value and the new value okay and we can say old value is this and then we can say the new value is this clear all right so let's pause and see the output so we have learned another thing how do you modify an array so if you run this you will see how the output has come so that is for the first one let's sit on enter the old value is orange and the new value is mango okay so this this one also you have understood all right now let's move on to the important one loop through an array in batch script how do you loop through an array is important so now for, to loop through i have explained about the else switch right in the so many videos last couple of videos i have explained about else switch if not please do visit that and then here i would say percentage percentage any variable and you can write anything a b c d g i have written g now here i am going to start we will start with so how many in uh, values are there 0 1 2 so 0 increment by 1 i'll max by 2 okay start step and end so i have defined this now let's say do and then provide the open parenthesis and i'll go with end parenthesis to close the loop and inside this let's write our command so now what I want, I want to loop through an array. 
using the for loop okay uh, you know loop through an array so how do i do it so i have spoken about uh, set local okay set local there is a clear video i have explained what is set local why it has to be used when you have to loop through a variable you know all these things i have explained so let's go ahead and start using it okay in case you have not seen that video please do watch my previous video there you would find set local please do watch that video enable disable uh, enable delayed expansion okay ensure the spelling is written enable is one word delayed is another word and third words expansion both are written without any space all right so this one we have done now let's try to print the values echo and then how do i print the value i will write the variable but in this one we are not going to use percentage symbol we will be using exclamation mark right all this we have learned then a then here in the bracket right in the bracket what should i write in the bracket i will write percentage percentage g which will be carrying the value 0 the first value 0 then the value 1 then it will be carrying the value 2 so i will write percentage percent g and then end this and just after this without any space ensure you put another exclamation mark all right so ensure there is no space in between this has to be written one solid away okay so once it is done you can see the output let me pause it and just to make, give it a difference we will say echo uh, printing looping through through the array using for loop so that we can differentiate the output okay so all done let's see the output final output okay this is for the first one this is for the second one this is for the last one looping through the array using for loop and you can see apple mango grapes so the second value got replaced getting it guys so this is how you'll be writing or looping through an array with the simple ones okay so please do make a note of this and this will be pretty useful during your learning journey thank you guys for watching let's move on to our next topic and in case you have not subscribed please do subscribe to the channel and support me Thank you.